And again, you're gonna hit in the head. I'm. Why do people you do must that? Be sweetheart. What? Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True. True. Thing is, I believe I've just been pardoned. Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Am I understood? What about this, the assassin? Yeah. He's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. What are we gonna do? You're that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do tell. All in good time. It's not like the assassin's going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. What a bunch of bollocks. I thought you was gonna handle that. We'll discuss this elsewhere. Man, Charles Lee is one ugly... SOB, okay? <laughs> like he doesn't, it looks like he isn't taking like a, a, a shower and like... Five years. Mm -hmm. All right, we got our nice little jail cell. Let's interact with this. Hmm. I think I would rather hold it in. You're gonna go pee, okay, or take a dump. They clearly spared no expense here. Well, of course, it's, it's Bell Bars. I'm telling you, he's planning to escape. We should get in on it. Yeah, and what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably just a shiv. Nah, Mason ain't a fighter. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel Weems, they call him. Stinky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. He even taught me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. Ha! What for? You think that whore's out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella, and the fella after him. You shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. Yeah? Well, it wasn't very funny. Okay. I guess it's bedtime. <laughs> bedtime. Sleep time. He's not really laying on a pillow. That's what it's used for. Get up! Why is he on the floor now? <laughs> Where are we going? Stay out of trouble or you'll wind up in the pit. Can I punch? No, I can't. Okay. So I could probably take all these guys down right now. Whoa, whoa. That's kind of weird. <laughs> you not understand English, that it? Oh, I understand English. I also understand Kung Fu fighting. Do I need to stab you once I get my blade? Because I'm probably going to do it. There was a period such blunders that men of greater resolve and clarity have stepped forward to make use. All right, we're I one of our friends. Find this Weems fellow. Let's talk with this guy. Mason Weems? Could be. I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. 
They say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. A shame. As I was hoping you might play one with me. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? <laughs> yeah, here's the rules. I just play Seems and things down. Know mine. What's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. Uh, there? I, well I don't played. know. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. Uh -huh, I got you yours. Why should I? You have the look of a brute. <laughs> you misjudge. I'm an honest man. And yet, I'm just gonna copy what he does. <laughs> Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. Right. As is what you ask of me. Uh, I can't move it anywhere. I was trying oh, I didn't want to place it. Oh, come on. Oh. Anyone I know? Are right, we supposed to get like three in a row or something? Well, I guess nobody won the game. <laughs> the others put you up to this, didn't they? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this. George Washington is brave beyond measure, loyal like a brother. Peerless in character and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. It's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. That loud finch stole it. it took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> you need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done. All right, where is this guy? Run! Run, run, Rudolph, run in like a merry-go-round. What? Who? Oh, he saw a punch you. Ugh. Yeah, I don't. This is like one of my least favorite parts of the game, just because. I don't know how Connor would actually be thrown in jail. Like, he should be better than this. Oh my god. Yeah, there. Punch her. Just take everybody out. Yeah. See, I could just kill everybody in here and just leave. Alright, let's go. Well, that was easy. Get back to my cell. I really wish I could just kill everybody. I just want to fight. This key is useless. What are you looking at? You in the market for us, Bin? Dude, don't don't make him angry. <laughs> I like pushing people. Go down the steps, Connor. 
Yeah, this guy's really, like, <laughs> I'd laugh if I saw somebody like, oh, he's so excited just to go to the jail yard. Your key is useless. What do you mean? It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged a key that does not work. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the warden. You have to swap yours for his. Why don't you just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? You might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And when he tries to use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. <sighs> How do I reach the warden? Yes. This next part, you may not like. Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. You need to pick a fight. What? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? The warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. I'll give you credit. You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. Take down as many as you can. One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. Oh, I can we make him angry. To play. Try not to die. Hey, what's up, dudes? Oh, oh, silent takedown. You guys are easy. Oh, okay, maybe not. All right. Oh, I think I just killed somebody. Okay, so that gave me some more jail time. Look at all of you, pathetic, dirty wretches. You're not but swine. Suckling at the teats of civilization, thieves and scoundrels all. And do you acknowledge this? Do you repent and beg forgiveness? No. You elect instead to commit new and more terrible crimes inside what should be a place of rehabilitation. You're facing the wrong way, dude. You bide your time, awaiting the day of release. You don't even have to listen to them. You can just undo the door right away. <laughs> There's a card right there. He doesn't have really good vision. Need to take care not to raise the alarm. What are you doing kicking stuff? How'd you get out, dude? <laughs> You'll find Hickey through that door. It's where they keep the important prisoners. Nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison, who you know makes all the difference. Thank you, Mason, for everything. I will find a way to repay the favor when my work here is finished. That's a silent takedown. I don't really care about optional objectives because this one can be annoying if you 